me hey y'all it's your girl christina fashion and welcome back to another video welcome back to another vlog y'all it's been a while since i vlogged i even forgot how to vlog y'all don't come for me i stopped vlogging honestly just because life happened i was so busy with my brand trying to keep up with sit down videos for youtube and other projects i'm working on the side it just got a lot so i couldn't really document what my day-to-day -day looks like but i'll try better in the future i promise you but today if you're wondering why i have my glasses on my thinking glasses my nerd glasses yeah i love being a nerd okay i love looking like a little nerd <laughs> anyways today i'm gonna show you guys how i package my orders i'm gonna give you the breakdown of how my package looked like i'm gonna show you my packaging station it's looking like a hot mess right now but i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like especially on a productive weekly day on a daily basis how my desk looked like don't judge me y'all but i'm gonna give you guys a real deal how my station looks like when i'm using it i'm also gonna give you an update on my packaging i got some new things that i added to my packaging so I've been liking the way it looks as of now. It's not perfect, but I like it. It looks way better, totally way better from what it used to be in the beginning of my packaging journey. So you guys, welcome to my work station. This is my work desk area. As you can see, I have my candle lit for the vibe. My station is still not like how I envision my work desk to look like. I still want to add in some mood board of my brand and make it very branded and this section here this is where i have my thank you cards and then i have some of my pens so this is an old stamp i have i used to use and some more like labels that i use and then once you get over here laptop down this is where i have all my jewelry stored Currently don't have them labeled as I get new orders they get moved around a lot so I kind of know where everything is this is where my bracelet is twisted chain bracelets Oops. this is where I have my black girl magic necklace and they're in individual bags so they don't get tangled up then here I'm it's my brown and bougie but um, I'm almost out, I have to restock. Some of my old snake chains. My dream girl pendant. Some more dream girl pendant. And then I have my I am her necklace. I'm actually running low on these. These have been selling a lot, so grateful. And then I have my soft and beautiful right here. I think more soft and beautiful. More soft and beautiful. This is still um, the I'm Him chain. And then that I attract life of love, luxury, and peace. And then in these little compartments, I have like rings. And like earrings don't have a big enough inventory yet where I need to have two of these of course soon come I will have another one as I get more inventory and more ideas and more products coming in but right now I just need one to hold all my inventory These are my sample pieces that I use for like photo shoots um, for like styling purposes for myself uh, that way I don't get them mixed up with my inventory here I have like my Rolo label um, label printer so when I'm shipping of course I can easily grab them and start using it then here in this basket I have my no issue ink box and then I have my stamps moving here it's my this is my like shipping station as well where i have some poly clear bags if i'm adding if i need to insert any jewelry into these pouches i got them from amazon then i have more thank you cards here 
more of these labels, some envelopes. And then in the bottom here, I have some tissue papers. I have them in white and I have some cloth here. These are all my like cloth that I use when I'm creating content and I have more tissue paper here. And then in the bottom here of my cart, I have all of my poly mailer bags in here. Um, like these and even the padded bubble mailer. As, well as I have some packaging peanuts from Staples, which is one of my newest update on my packaging. I use that as well as the tissue paper. So this didn't cost me that much. If I remember the price, I'll put it somewhere on the screen here. And then the bottom of my table, I have all of my mailer boxes. Okay, let's go in. So that's that. And then down here is just a bunch of like paperwork for my brand and other things. And then... Here I have my actual printer for my labels here. When I'm not using it, I just stick it here. And I have like other random cords and stuff for my electronics. So that's how my packaging station currently looks like. Not too many things going on because I have them tucked away, organized. And if I have any excess like packaging, I have them stored away in the closet. But the things I need, I have it up front here. Um, so now I'm going to show you how I actually package my orders and give you some more details and breakdown of what goes into it. Okay, y'all. So when it comes to packaging my orders, of course, the first thing I'll do is take um, my mailer boxes and I'll start stamping the logo <laughs> On my mailer boxes the reason why I went for like a stamp okay yeah I went for a stamp because I wanted to customize my mailer boxes I was tired of it looking blank on top and this was a way for me to kind of save money without having to you know spend extra money I don't have on like custom boxes I'm just not there yet these work just fine this I got from Staples I think it only cost me about 30 to 40 dollars and it's really good highly recommend um I think you can also do your stamps on no issue what I like about no issue versus Staples no issue you can actually use your customized logo whereas no issue if you have more of a simple logo print like this then you can definitely go to staples and it was local nearby me so i was able to pick it up the same day just press down so pretty neat okay if you want to if you have the time you can pre-stamp all your boxes but it don't take me that long so if I have the time, I'll pre-stamp them. But for now, I'm fine with doing it. Order. So. It's time to fill up our packaging. Instead of it looking so empty and flat, it gives some, like, dimension and volume. So I'll just go ahead and just, like, kind of just put them in like that. So yeah, and then, so I did upgrade my pouches, um, but I'm out of my package at this moment. So these are my old ones with my logo on it. Um, I'll insert how my new packaging looks like. I actually got them from Amazon. Then my thank you card. And then I actually recently bought some marker. So for example, it'll be like, thank you, Sydney. I don't know if that's how you spell it like Sydney just a little fun thing to do going with my packaging is adding in these gold flakes that I bought from Amazon and I think it just looks so cute because it's like opening up a gift and you have these beautiful gold flakes that goes along with your gold jewelry I, I think it's just nice so I'll we'll just go ahead and kind of sprinkle it in 
doesn't that look nice and then of course I'll go in and just add in my thank you card however you want to place it you can place it like this or like that or like that grab my label I got this from you printing I created the look of the packaging sticker on Canva first and then uploaded it on you printing and it came like this but I don't like it like this at all. I feel like it's not safe because I don't want anyone knowing that I'm shipping jewelry and you never know who may still hear packages um, so I go the extra length to add these boxes in a poly mailer we insert it into a poly bag like this that way no one's stealing my packages because we don't do that over here my packaging label is a three by seven inch and enter three by seven what i would do is go on pinterest to get an idea of what you want your packaging to look like something like this is nice So what I would do is just start from scratch. Let's pick this light color and then we can say this package is happy to see you. And then of course you can kind of like space it out. And then you can add in your logo at the bottom. That's how I would create a label like this. So this would be centered and then your logo would be at the bottom right here. And once you plug it into you printing, um, oh. Once you plug it into so you printing, it will come out exactly like this. Sing for me, please. One, two. So this is love. So this is love. all the times we roll. Around the city where they call me town He roll no dope whip as I don't matter Again, it's black as Don Cheeto Yeah, a week of start from ground zero I don't know if it's me talking or the crown and Casamigo All I know we never talk on how we feel Cause our egos But if you down to grab the clip Then I'll reload Yeah, I got it slick in my cup I'm Oh, oh, this is my son <laughs> Don't play with me right now This is my jam So you guys, that is how I go about packaging my orders and that's, that is my breakdown and where I get all of my supplies from. Everything will be linked below as I was explaining everything. I really hope you enjoyed this quick little video. More amazing content will be coming soon. I just been swamped and getting ready for a new launch and actually I'm in the process of communicating with my vendors. I have certain things that are delayed and I'm getting my life together as well. So I just want to at least upload some things that can give you some value and give you some update on my new packaging style. I just want to connect with you. I didn't want to go missing for another week. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and see you on the next video and have a good day.